واستعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وإنها لكبيرة إلا على الخاشعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my brothers, my sisters welcome back to our beautiful Ramadan series instilling the hope Today's episode is a beautiful topic, new, amazing topic we shall be talking about in the previous episode. We spoke about the importance of istighfar and seeking Allah's forgiveness. Today, in this amazing episode, the 17th episode, we will be talking about this beautiful topic of marriage, choosing a spouse choosing a spouse do you know that your choice of a spouse shapes your life the person you choose as the mother to your kids or the father to your kids shapes your life who have you chosen who do you want to choose what do you consider when you want to make your choice you know, we are talking about instilling hope, instilling that hope we are talking about. A person you want to live the rest of your life with, and you choose the wrong person. Even from there already, you are compromising the hope. It's been compromised. So, I don't know. You want hope? Choose the right spouse. Either attack the Prophet has said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when a proposal comes to you and you are satisfied with the deen, the religiousness of the person and the character and conduct of the person, then get married. Let the marriage happen, is what he said. These two factors you must consider, the deen and the character. Once they are good, then Every other thing comes after the money, the beauty, the lineage, whatever you want, height, shape, size, complexion. People have so many things they want, the length of their hair, everything you want. Go and choose what you want. It's your wife. You marry her. Mashallah, tabarakallah, let her look beautiful and amazing. But make sure that these first two are intact. The deen, the character. You want hope? Choose the right person you want to live your life with. Allah will grant you hope. Choose a good, God-fearing person. Allah will grant you happiness. Allah will grant you hope. With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, when you choose the wrong person, you have kids, they're the mother that brings up the kids and so on and the whole life and house is not uh, in a manner it is supposed to be that already on its own is a red flag but if you were to choose the right spouse the hope you are searching for would be made easier how why because you're gonna believe in your life with the person you love the right person who fears Allah, has good character, good mother and father to your kids. Here we are talking to both male and female. Male choose the right female. Female choose the right male. And that's how it is. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the best spouses, those who want to get married. May Allah grant them the best of spouses. Make dua, do your istikhara, a lot of things. It's not a small deal, a life journey. Take it seriously. You will find hope with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, when, when the revelation came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who did he go back to first? His wife, Khadija. And what did he say? Izammiloon, cover me. You know, subhanallah. Comfort, hope. He went to Hajj, comforted him, he said, Zammiluni. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us 
the happiness of this life, the best of spouses and hope. Barakallahu fikum. Inshallah, we will catch up in our next episode. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. واستعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وإنها لكبيرة إلا على الخاشعين